Southwest Airlines has grown to become a favourite among both frequent and occasional travellers alike, and for good reason. Southwest Airlines is unique in the US in a number of ways, like the fact that it has open seating and the fact that it's usually a little cheaper than other major US airlines. But despite the fact that Southwest Airlines is considered a budget airline compared to the likes of Delta, United and American Airlines, it still has a lot going for it. Curious to learn about Southwest and whether or not it's the best airline for your frequent flyer needs? That's why I've put together this video. Here's everything you need to know about flying on Southwest and accruing Southwest Rapid Rewards. Before I get stuck in, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if this video is helpful to you. I would really appreciate that support. Let's go over the basics of Southwest Airlines Rapid Rewards. According to NerdWallet, Southwest Airlines' Rapid Rewards points are worth around 1.5 cents each, which is more or less in line with all the other rewards programs from the major airlines in the US. Unlike the other major airlines in the US though, Southwest, unfortunately, isn't part of an airline alliance, and thus you can't earn rapid rewards on any other airline other than Southwest. In other words, if you regularly travel internationally or you fly routes that Southwest doesn't offer, it's probably worth going for another airline rewards program over Southwest's rapid rewards. Southwest operates from nine hubs, though it doesn't call them hubs. Its biggest operating cities are Atlanta, Baltimore, Washington, Chicago, Denver, Houston, Nashville, Oakland, Phoenix, and St. Louis. There are a number of ways to earn so-called rapid rewards on Southwest Airlines. The most obvious of these is by flying on Southwest flights. You can also, of course, earn points with a Southwest credit card. There are three Southwest credit cards. The Southwest Plus card, the Southwest Priority card, and the Southwest Premier card. All three of the cards offer a 50,000 point sign up bonus and they'll offer a varying amount of points for spending. All three also have annual fees, with the Plus card having an annual fee of $69 and the Priority card a fee of $149. Other perks are on offer too, depending on the card you go for, like upgraded boardings and annual travel credit. Another way to earn Southwest reward points is by transferring points from hotel or rental car partners. Most major hotel chains and rental car companies are partners, allowing you to earn more than simply by flying. Once you fly enough, you'll start earning status on Southwest Airlines. However, unlike other airlines, there are only two status levels. The first of those is Southwest A-List, which you'll achieve after 20 qualifying flights or achieving 35,000 qualifying points. Because of how Southwest operates with its open plan seating, Southwest rewards are a little different than some of the competition. On A-List, you'll unlock priority boarding, which may allow you to more easily pick a preferred seat like an exit row. It'll also give you a 25% earning bonus and a priority lane and express lane, both for check-in and for boarding. Last but not least, you'll get same-day changes and standby, meaning that you can change your flight for another on the same day with no added fees if it has the same base fare. These rewards aren't bad, but compared to the larger US airlines, they could be considered slightly weak. For example, they don't have class upgrade wait lists because Southwest has open seating. Still, for Southwest travellers, the rewards will be very welcome. If you fly more on Southwest, you'll reach A-List Preferred, which is Southwest's highest tier and is achieved after 40 qualifying flights or a hefty 70,000 qualifying points. A-List Preferred offers a number of upgrades over the standard A-List tier. However, many of the benefits are the same. Like on A-List, you'll get priority boarding and an express lane on check-in. You'll also get the same day flight changes. Unlike standard A-List, however, you'll also get a 100% earning bo bonus, along with free in-flight internet. The 100% earning bonus will be particularly helpful for Southwest frequent flyers, as it allow them to garner more points that can be spent on future flights. So, once you've earned all those Southwest points, how are you going to go about spending them? Well, there are a number of ways, however the most obvious and best value is by spending them on other Southwest flights. It's generally considered that spending the points on Southwest wanna get away flights offers the best value, however it's also worth checking out Southwest's international flights, like those to Hawaii and Central America. Starting in Spring 2024, Southwest will also let you pay for flights with a combination of points and cash, so you can use as few as a thousand points to lower the cash cost of a flight. You can also redeem Southwest rewards for non-Southwest flights, hotels, rental cars, gift cards, and more, if you have a Southwest credit card. Keep in mind, however, that these redemption options generally offer relatively low points value. So unless you really don't plan on flying again anytime soon, it's probably worth keeping the points and actually just spending them on Southwest flights. I generally wouldn't recommend this on other airlines, but if you're a Southwest flyer, it may be worth considering a hotel rewards program too, which you can use separately. Thanks again for watching this video, and again, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if it was helpful to you. I'll be posting more videos with more travel and airline tips in the future. See you next time.